Max? What's up, my man? First thing, uh, congratulations there. Uh, thank you. How's, it, how, how's that bad boy feel? Uh, it feels good. A uh, few cool names before myself. <laughs> you know, had it with Peter and Pedro, which we train uh, under Peter and own. And I also train with Pedro as well, so it's, it, it's, it's, it's quite cool, you know, to have a, a prestigious belt on the Irish regional thing, you know. Absolutely. But as I say, as always, far from satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, absolutely, man. Um, when you're, how did, how did you come into this, or what plan did you have coming into this? And then did you stick with it? Um, yeah, I, I suppose I, I was going in and I was doing what I feel, you know, and doing what I feel so far has been the right choice, you know. I don't know how he's going to come at me. I don't like... I like over obsessing about an opponent, but not to a certain extent, you know, because anything can happen. So just going in with a clear, clear uh, thought process and a clear mind, and uh, reacting and giving reactions, you know. Yeah, so that, that was that was that was the game plan, and yeah, it worked out well. It's great. No, we we talked at the press conference uh, that you don't really kind of look into your opponent too much. Yeah. Is, is that still the case in the, in the week up to this? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I know. I, I, like, as I said before, it's like. Obviously, uh, Waverton was a uh, late replacement, yeah. you know, so um, I, 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 I wasn't really too bothered by it, you know, I'll always uh, face whoever they get in, whoever they put in front of me, I'll fight, you know, um, so no, no real changes needed to be made, it was always going to be the same approach for the fellow I was fighting to the fellow I fought, you know, so not too much of a difference, it was, uh, it was all good, man. All right, right on. Um, was there, did you have like any techniques specifically that maybe you trained specifically for this match that you didn't get to use, or maybe that you did? Well, yeah, I put my elbow through his bleeding skull. <laughs> that's that's the that's the best technique of pro MMA. So, yeah, you know, no. I, I saw that a couple of times. You, he had, uh, he had you down there or had a hold of your wrist. You were just, yeah. just kind of just throwing it in, them. and I was look beautiful. Just, just trying to just trying to. Uh, placed them right, you know. Yeah. I didn't want to go too crazy when I took them down. I wanted to settle, solidify my position, and then land them da damaging shots, you know. So you know, it worked out well. <laughs> Absolutely. Was there a, a point in the match where you know you knew you had them? Um, like you, you knew it was in the bag? As soon as that time I went off. <laughs> as soon as that time <laughs> right, I went right off, on. we went to the center. Fair I was enough. like, I have you now, you know. So. Heck yeah. All right, so uh, what's next for you? Um, either a big fight in the regional scene or something else abroad. You right. know, but uh, I'm looking to have one more fight at the end of the year. I've gone 2 0 so far this year. And yeah, I want to just, uh, I'm going away on holidays, a family holiday for uh, a few days. I'm going to get back and get straight up back on the horse, you know what I mean? No rest for the wicked. So. Awesome, man. Look, I appreciate your time and I'd love to get you on my podcast sometime. Of course, love to man. Have a, of love course. To have a long sit down with you. Yes, of course, my man. All right, man. Look, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Legend, brother. All Thank right. you so much.